December 1862. Play, get Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest was given unprecedented orders. His mission, disrupt federal rail and telegraph lines supplying troops between Vicksburg, Mississippi and Memphis, Tennessee. Forrest's campaign was so bold, so audacious, and so unprecedented that the raids are still studied at West Point. The fact was Forrest was always outnumbered and many times on many missions, darkness and stealth and nerve were required. And that's where Private Coble came into play. He and Major Nicholas Cox and their group of Middle Tennessee soldiers went to the trestle in the pre-dawn darkness. They had not expected it to be heavily defended, but recently a stockade and blockhouse had been constructed. So. As they approached the trestle in the dark of night, the federal troops spotted them and opened fire. Private James Coble's body remained on the field, the only casualty of a failed secret mission. However, shortly after his death, the Federals took the unusual step to hastily bury his remains in a shallow grave. His grieving family in Lewis County, Tennessee, had no idea of the cause or place of his burial. And then, out of the blue, a half century later, a dying Federal soldier decides he has one last wish to write a letter to share a secret. In 1914, a letter appeared in the Jackson Sun. It had been written by Captain David Hartz of Lincoln, Illinois. Captain Hartz had been in command of the 23 federal soldiers that were on duty at the blockhouse where Private Coble was killed. What in the world motivated this adversary to give this precious gift to his one-time enemy? The answer to that question became the obsession of Private Coble's great-great-grandson, Dr. Charles Cox. The Jackson, Tennessee surgeon put his question on hold, but once in retirement, he threw himself into this great Civil War mystery, a mystery marked by a mayor's involvement around the turn of the century significant finds and discoveries of relics and current Tennessee historian's involvement. So this monument speaks in many ways, and it speaks to us today to remind us what binds us together as a nation and a people. A mystery that led to one of the most unusual Civil War monuments ever commissioned. The remarkable story behind the monument has caught the attention of the media. Newspapers and television stations are now covering some of the events involving Monument to Healing. What a noble gesture. I get goosebumps right now. It gave the family closure after 51 years. An untold war story that suggests how a country healed through a single death. Monument to healing, available at charlescox.co.